Okay, so so now if the amplitude was double, so we have a is equal to two a now. So let's say a prime is equal to two a. So we know the total energy of the system can be equal to one half k squared, and the new total total energy of the system can be equal to one half k a, a prime squared, which is equal to one half k times two a to the power two, and this will give us one half k times four a squared. Which means that U prime, which is the new total energy here, should be equal to uh, four times one half k squared, which is four times the initial uh, total energy of the system, which is four U. So, which means that if the amplitude was double, the total energy of the system will be uh, four times of the original uh, uh, energy of the system. And the spring constant K, we know is equal to M times omega squared. M is the mass, omega is the angular frequency. As you can tell, spring constant doesn't depend on the amplitude. So therefore, it doesn't get affected by the uh, changing of the amplitude, okay? So it will be constant. And since the spring constant is constant, that means omega, which is the angular frequency, will also remain constant as well. Okay, because it also doesn't depend on the amplitude. And now we know, we know that the, the time period is equal to two pi over omega. And since omega is constant, that means time period will not be affected by the amplitude as well. So it will be constant as well. So now let's take a look at the maximum speed. So maximum speed is equal to amplitude times the angular frequency. So remember now uh, the amplitude was double, that means the new maximum speed, let's say V max prime, should be equal to A prime, which is the new amplitude, times the angular frequency. And this will give us 2A omega, which is two times the original maximum speed. So if the amplitude was double, that means the maximum speed will be double as well, okay? And these are the answers for this question.